30 grounded. A gust of wind knocking a hot air balloon off course, leading to a hard landing right in the Grafton commuter rail parking lot. Now, everyone on board the balloon was okay, but we can't say the same for the cars in the parking lot. No, and as Ken McLeod shows us, this is the second frightening incident in two years for that balloon's pilot. He said the weather fooled him. The A Bears spoke to the balloon's pilot just moments after they watched him crash land in Grafton's commuter rail lot and scrambled over to help. It didn't look windy at all. It was not windy, but he said there was a lot of downdrafts and he just couldn't get up. Indeed, pilot Darrell Young had just taken off from neighboring Shrewsbury with a half dozen passengers on board when trouble hit. He aimed for a field by the Tufts Vet School, but instead got the commuter lot, snapping a light pole and putting nasty dings in a handful of cars, but spilling no passengers. We were worried that they were going to crash into the train tracks. It was uh, pretty scary for those people, but they were all okay. They were fine. <laughs> Thing is, investigators are likely to have an array of stern questions for the veteran pilot and his damn Yankee balloons. This was young just last year, hitting some power lines in Clinton, a mishap that seriously injured three of his passengers. So it's not always a foolproof process. Fortunately, today's mishap ended with riders taking a group photo alongside their downed balloon. And the guys were taking it kind of casually. They were saying, what a bunch of great stories we've got. The ladies, he says, were not as amused, especially the one who had booked the flight for her birthday. Commuters who get off the train to find their cars messed up aren't likely to be happy either. In Grafton, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Now, Young is a former